Hi, my name is Carolyn Duncan. I'm an attorney at Duncan Legal. We do estate planning, probate, and trust administration. I am so sorry that you're watching this video today because we received a phone call that you lost a loved one and you're wondering what to do now that they have died. That's gonna be scary and it's gonna be daunting, but we're gonna walk you through the process and we're gonna give you some good tips as to what do you do next. So when you made your appointment, you told us that your loved one had a revocable trust document. So the good news is no probate. However, two things do have to be filed with the probate court. The first one is the trust registration. That is just a simple document that said, so-and-so died, this is the date they died, they had a trust, and you are the successor trustee. That's all it says. It doesn't tell them any beneficiary information. It doesn't even give them the value of the estate. It just is informing them that someone died. This is the notice to creditors that they have 12 months from the date of death to file a claim. The other thing we have to file with the probate court is we have to lodge the pour over will. The pour over will was a safety net and we didn't wanna use it only in case we had to. So we're telling the court when we lodge it, we don't have anything to probate, but here is the original will. The next thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to start working on the accounting and the inventory. There are only seven categories, real estate, life insurance, motor vehicles, bank account, retirement, investment, and miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is the furniture, the jewelry, the things like that. You're also going to want to start keeping good records. Keep copies of the receipts. Make sure you know the money going out. It's like a checkbook, money in, money out. But that's what you're going to put on your accounting. And on the inventory, you're going to do those same seven categories and you're going to give an estimate of what you think each category's value is. That's what you're going to give to the beneficiaries once you're ready to distribute. The job of a trustee when someone passes is to gather the assets, pay off the debt, and distribute what's left over. That's why we use the accounting and the inventory. And when you think you've done all that, and you've also prepared the last tax return, then you're ready to distribute and your job is done. I know this is very scary. It sounds like a lot, but we can help you with it. Give Duncan Legal a call, schedule your appointment, and let's go over some options.